Welcome ladies and gentlemen and in today's video I'll be showing you a partial pre-trip inspection on a commercial motor vehicle. I'm going to be covering front approach, engine components, and finishing up on rims and tires. Start by doing a 360 degree survey of what's around your vehicle to help you identify any potential hazards. Look out for low hanging tree limbs or low hanging wires. Make sure you have enough clearance before you begin moving your vehicle forward or backwards. Look at the left and right hand side of your vehicle. You're looking for any hazards such as people, animals, other vehicles, anything you might strike or might strike you when you begin to move. Direct your attention underneath your vehicle and make sure you see no low hanging wires, no low hanging hoses, and no leaks. You're looking out for puddles made up of fuel, oil, coolant, or grease. Now let's take a look at the general condition of our vehicle. Notice if your vehicle is leaning more to one side than the other. If the vehicle is leaning, it can be an indication that you have a shifted or an uneven load, a problem with your suspension or a low air pressure tire. Check the condition of the clearance lights, strobe lights, and marker lights, and make sure they are not broke, loose or missing, that they're securely mounted and in good working condition of the proper color, amber or white in the front. Inspect your windshield, make sure that's not broke, loose or missing, securely mounted and in good working condition, no cracks, pits, clean and free of any illegal stickers. Your windshield wipers, make sure they're not broke, loose or missing, securely mounted and in good working condition. Your grill, make sure that's not broke, loose or missing, that it's securely mounted and in good working condition and free of any obstructions. Your headlights, not broke, loose or missing, securely mounted and in good working condition, that they are white and amber in the front. Make sure they are clean, with no condensation and free of fog. Your hood latches. Make sure they're not broke, loose or missing, that they're securely mounted and in good working condition. Make sure they both latch and unlatch properly. Before you open up your hood, make sure it is clear to do so. The last thing you want to do is hit the examiner in the head with your hood. Passenger side engine components. Quick note. Make sure you inspect all hoses and electrical lines for leaks or exposed wires. Inspect your hose that it has no abrasions, bubbles, or cuts, securely mounted and in good working condition, not leaking. Your coolant reservoir, not broke, loose or missing, securely mounted and in good working condition. Make sure that it is at operating range and not leaking. Your alternator, make sure it is not broke, loose or missing, securely mounted and in good working condition, no exposed wires, and verbalize it is belt driven if it is so. Your water pump, not broke, loose or missing, securely mounted and in good working condition. It is not leaking and it is belt driven. Your belt, check the condition of your belt, make sure that it has no abrasions, no bubbles, no cuts. It is securely mounted and in good working condition and no more than three quarters of an inch of play. Your windshield washer reservoir, make sure that's not broke, loose or missing, that it's securely mounted and in good working condition and not leaking. Moving on to the driver's side engine components. Check your oil levels by removing your oil dipstick. Wipe it clean and reinsert it. Take it back out and check that your oil level is at operating range, above add and below full. Your air compressor. Make sure that that is not broke, loose or missing, that it is securely mounted and in good working condition and make sure you hear no audible leaks. For testing purposes, identify and verbalize to the examiner if the air compressor is gear or belt driven. If it is belt driven, inspect the condition and tension of the belt. Now we'll inspect all of the steering system components starting with the power steering fluid reservoir. Look that it is not broke, loose or missing, that it is securely mounted and in good working condition and at operating range, and that it's not leaking. Your power steering hose, inspect that it has no abrasions, bubbles or cuts, that it is securely mounted and in good working condition, not leaking. Your steering shaft, not broke, loose or missing, securely mounted and in good working condition. Your U-joint, not broke, loose or missing, securely mounted and in good working condition. Your power steering gearbox, inspect that it's not broke, loose or missing, that it's securely mounted and in good working condition and that it's not leaking. The following items can be mentioned all at once for testing purposes. Pitman arm, drag link, cotter pin and castle nuts, upper and lower steering knuckle or arm, and tie rod. Make sure they are all not broke, not loose, not missing. They are securely mounted and in good working condition. Moving on to our suspension components. Our shock absorber and our shock absorber mount. Not broke, not loose, not missing. Securely mounted and in good working condition. Inspect that our shock absorber is not leaking. Your leaf spring mount, leaf spring, and U-bolts are not broke, loose or missing, securely mounted and in good working condition. 
Inspect the leaf springs that are not scissoring. Moving on to our air brake system components. Air brake hose. Make sure that it has no abrasions, no bubbles, no cuts. It is securely mounted and in good working condition and you hear no audible leaks. Side note, you can also check your ABS line from here. Make sure that it has no abrasions, no bubbles, no cuts. It is securely mounted and in good working condition with no exposed wires. Your air brake chamber, not broke, not loose, not missing. It is securely mounted and in good working condition with no audible leaks. Your slack adjuster and your push rod, not broke, loose or missing, securely mounted and in good working condition. Your push rod has no more than one inch of, of travel. Moving on to our brakes and inner rim. Our brake lining and brake shoes are not broke, loose or missing, securely mounted and in good working condition. They are free of oil or grease, not dangerously thin and they have a minimum of quarter inch of thickness. Your brake drum is not broke, loose or missing, securely mounted and in good working condition. It is free of oil or grease, no signs of bluing or glazing. Your inner rim is not broke, not loose, not missing, securely mounted and in good working condition and no illegal welds. Our inner tire has no abrasions, no bubbles, no cuts. It is securely mounted in good working condition and it is properly sealed around the rim. The top of the tire has no abrasions, no bubbles, no cuts. It is evenly worn and it has no less than 432 second thread depth. Note, steering tires can't be regrouped, rethreaded, or recapped tires, original steering tires only. Outer tire has no abrasions, no bubbles, no cuts. It is securely mounted and in good working condition, properly inflated to manufacturer specifications. Check the pressure of the tire with an air pressure gauge or thumping it with a mallet. The rim is not bent, broken or cracked with no illegal welds and in good working condition. Check the condition of the valve stem that it has no abrasions, no bubbles, no cuts, that it's securely mounted and in good working condition with no audible leaks. Studs and lug nuts, make sure they're not broke, not loose, not missing, securely mounted and in good working condition with no signs of rust trails, metal shavings, or shiny threads. Your hub seal, make sure it has no abrasions, no bubbles, no cuts. It is securely mounted and in good working condition and is definitely not leaking. With that, we conclude this portion of the pre-trip inspection. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, repetition is key. Till next time.